Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two powers. We have 31 to the 11th power and 17 to the 14th power. And we're going to be comparing these two numbers and figure out which one is larger. Now this problem has been around for a while. I don't know for how long, but it must have appeared on a math contest sometime. And I've known this for a while. At least it's been known to some people. But I don't know the exact source, so if you do, please let me know in the comment section. And uh, there's been some, uh, you know, different solutions. I'm going to show you some alternatives first, and then uh, I'll be presenting my solution method. Okay, so in order to be able to compare these numbers, we can call, first of all, start with the first one. Let's call this number A, and let's call this number B. And let's go ahead and take a look at what this gives us. So A equals 31 to the 11th power and B equals 17 to the 14th power. Now I'm going to be logging both sides since these are exponentials and I can get rid of the exponents easily. And using the power property, I can write this as 11 times log 31. And if you log B, you get something similar and you can write this as log b equals 14 times log 17. So if I can find the values of log 31 and log 17, and then multiply by 11 and 14 respectively, then I'll be getting the values of log a and log b. And then I can compare those two values. When I compare those two values, what happens? Let's see what happens. This is kind of interesting. So in terms of log function, this is going to mean something. So if log A is greater than log B, what does this imply? Does that mean A is greater than B or A is less than B? Well, log means base 10 here. So base 10 log is an increasing function. So if A is greater than B, then log A is greater than log B, so on and so forth. So this implies that A is greater than B. On the other hand, if log A happens to be less than log B, then this implies A is less than B. So if I'm able to compare log A and log B, then I can easily compare A and B as a result. So that's one way to approach it, but obviously you're gonna need to find the values of log 31 and log 17. Okay, another way to look at this problem is using powers. Of course, we're dealing with powers here, right? So notice that 34 is two times 17. And what does that have to do with 31, right? Well, obviously 31 is less than 34. And when you raise both sides to the 11th power, this is going to be true as well, because x to the 11th power, again, is going to be an increasing function for positive basis, right? Okay, so now, actually, it's always gonna be increasing, by the way, because it's an odd power. It doesn't matter, positive or negative. So, this comparison is true, but what does that have to do with our expression 17 to the 14? So here's where the exp expression kind of unfolds. I can write this 34 as 2 times 17 and raise it to the 11th power. And this means 2 to the 11th multiplied by 17 to the 11th power. Now, I want to compare this to 17 to the 14th power. So notice that I have 17 to the 11th here. So what I'm missing is 17 to the third power. So if you can compare two to the 11th and 17 to the third, then you can, you can easily uh, do the rest. And how does that work? Well, 17 is close to 16. So you can basically say that you can kind of break this down as two to the fourth, two to the fourth and two to the third. And then from here, you can compare each uh, two of these. Well, x, every single number here can be compared to 17 and you can kind of put it together. I want to leave it a little open-ended here so that you can kind of work on your own. So I don't want to give you the whole solution. All right, so let me go ahead and introduce an alternative way to solve this problem. So my expression basically has 31 in it. So let's go ahead and start with that one. 31 to the 11th power, now notice that 31 could be compared to, compared to 34, and now we can compare it to 17, but there's actually another way to look at it. 31 is a special number, and you should know this, because if you add, add you know, the, some terms of a geometric series, you'll get this as a result when you add powers of two. So 31 is actually a sum of consecutive powers of two, but not only that, it's also one less than a power of two, right? So it means 31 to the 11th power can be written as less than 
32 to the 11th power. And 32 to the 11th power can be written as 2 to the 5th to the 11th. And we can multiply the exponents. And that gives us 2 to the power 55. Great. Now, I was able to compare 31 to the 11th to a power of 2. I know that this number is less than 2 to the 55th. Let's go ahead and take 17 to the 14 and do the same thing, something similar. We know that 17 is pretty close to a power of 2 as well, but it's on the larger side. So 17 to the 14th is greater than 16 to the 14th, which can be written as 2 to the 4th to the 14th. And 4 times 14 is equal to 56. So this tells us that 17 to the 14th power is greater than 2 to the 56. Now our goal is to compare these two numbers. But notice that we ended up with powers of 2. So let's go ahead and start with something and then put this all together. We're going to be getting a chain of equations and inequalities. And after this, we're going to talk about the actual values of these two numbers. You're going to know, you're going to know how large these numbers are. Okay, now how can I put this together? Well, I can say that 17, let's start with 17 this time. 17 to the 14th power is obviously greater than 16 to the 14th power, which can be written as 2 to the power 56. And obviously 2 to the 56 is here, notice that we're comparing powers of 2, is greater than 2 to the 55th power, which is obviously equal to 32 to the 11th power, which is greater than 31 to the 11th power. And isn't this awesome? I think this is awesome. So by using powers of 2 in the middle, we're able to compare 17, a power of 17, and a power of 31. Now what is this supposed to mean? It means that we can forget about everything in the middle and write this as this number being greater than that number. Using the transitive property, we can safely say that 17 to the 14th power is greater than 31 to the 11th power. Now make sure to look at the other solution methods and finish them up so that you can, you know, kind of verify this result for yourself. Now, so this is our result, but let's go ahead and take a look at what those values look like. And then we're going to go ahead and conclude our video with that result. Okay. All right. Now, so let's see what those values are going to look like. And obviously these numbers are not too far apart. They're pretty close because notice that they're kind of related with consecutive powers of two, like two to the 56 and two to the 55th. Well, I shouldn't say too close because obviously one of these numbers is twice the other. And obviously there's a bigger gap between them. So one number is more than two times the other, but they're still pretty close. If you look at their magnitude, you're going to notice what I'm talking about. Okay. So let's go ahead and wrap it up. So 17 to the 14th power is basically, I mean, I should say approximately in this case, because I'm going to give you it's in scientific notation is about 1.68 times 10 to the power 17 and 31 to the 11th power is approximately 2.54 times 10 to the 16th power. As you can see, it's not, uh, you know, they're not that apart. They're pretty close. Well, depends. I guess that's relative, but that's pretty much what they look like. So as a conclusion, we can safely say that 17 to the 14th power is, you know, greater than 31 to the 11th power. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.